Hello everybody, today we're going to be watching the Airship Destroyer, which is a silent uh, science fiction film from 1909. It's German, it was filmed in the UK. I think it's all about the kind of the future or the potential of um, like blimps and zimps and zimps. Whatever those things are called, blimps. <laughs> so uh, we're going to see what this is all about. I literally know nothing about this, so uh, let's go. This is literally like completely silent. I don't know what they're getting into. Is that gonna like hover above? They're gonna yeah, carry them. It's like a an air balloon. That's pretty cool. Romantic. Maybe. Oh, yep, yeah, very. <laughs> Some sort of dispute. Oh, are they drunk? It's a cool set. I guess the blimps are coming. Oh, yeah, a lot of blimps. I assume blimps were like super popular in Germany, right? I mean, I literally, <laughs> I'm basing that off of this and the Hindenburg, so it seems, I don't know, very engineering. Something, something like the Germans would be into, maybe. Oh, yeah, really. I guess they're like meant to be like, um, it's like warfare, right? Yeah. Blimp warfare. Yeah. Ooh, lots of lovely practical effects. Oh, thought they might get bombed. Oh, this is still going. No, did it get bombed? Yeah, I just didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, miss. It's called practical effects. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's working really well. That's like a tank sign. The design of that car is really cool. Is that meant to be? I guess it's like meant to be armored, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's nearly hitting a train. It is a cool design of a car. It's kind of like um, yeah, it's hard to describe. Really. It's like a, it's like a, a tank from yeah, 1909. It's more like an armored vehicle, I guess. Oh, oh, <laughs> not not that armored then. Something in my eye, brilliant. God. I guess they're warning about the blimps coming. Oh my god, there's actually something in my eye. Sorry. Oh, they're getting bombed. Getting shelled. Maybe we should watch this before certain wars happen so we were a bit more prepared. Yeah. It's, uh, I guess, life imitating art. In this case, unfortunately. Oh, it's like um, dog fighting. Are oh, they using models and stuff? Oh, yeah. I love matte paintings, I don't know why. I think it's just, it's uh Because you can normally tell it's a matte painting, but I just kind of, I don't know, it's very cute, I guess. A bit of crap, isn't it, I guess, for me to think it's cute, but yeah, it looks cool. And this kind of all practical dog fighting. <laughs> I think they're reusing scenes here. Are they? Looks kind of similar. Oh. It's like an indestructible blimp, which is, they're definitely not indestructible. That plane would probably win. <laughs> Even though I guess that looks like it's made of paper or something. On those super early planes. A lot of smoke. Smoke's cool though. Oh, 
house is down. I like the actual fact that they're actually destroying stuff there. It's cool. I suppose normally you'd have a guy playing the piano in the theatre. I was a bit worried because they're because they I thought there might be kind of um no screen they've like splash screens with text on it explaining what's happening. I guess it's kind of later on in the sign up film. I was a bit worried that that might not be in Germany. German. But I guess you don't need to worry about that. So it's a completely universal film, I guess, in that sense. Except if you're blind, of course, but we can skirt over that. Are they dead? No? Maybe. Mm, probably he's dead. Probably would be dead. I guess it's about the tragedy of war. Not much of a story, I guess, so far. Oh, yeah. London is on fire. Well, this part of England that is on fire after being bombed by the Germans. I don't actually know if they are. Like where this is, I don't know if there's meant to be Germany bombing or I don't know who's meant to be bombing who, but because it's kind of an aerial assault by blimps on a foreign country or whatever, <laughs> I'm drawing parallels between real wars. And I love the fact they actually use models there. I'm kind of a sucker for models as well. That's a cool plane. Um, I don't think they get. Uh, it looks like a a rocket with butterfly wings. Is that going to work? Probably. <laughs> oh. I love just the simplicity of these films, just like, I don't know, there's something so endearing about it, isn't there? Yeah? Oh, it's like a rocket, okay. Well, they're essentially, I don't know how close this was to kind of aerial warfare at the time of 1909, but it's pretty spot on to what it later became. I thought there's meant to be loads of blimps. I guess the planes took them out, yeah. Pause. Pause. Oh right, okay. Well, yeah, that was interesting. I, I like really liked the um, the whole practical side of it, the whole kind of simplicity of the sets. Um, it's only six minutes long, not much narrative to it, but it's, yeah, it was. Um, I guess it was kind of more of a spectacle, really. It's like an action. It was an action film of its time, an action film of the nineteen oh nine. Yeah, so I'm gonna give that. Oh, I don't know if I should. say I don't know how to rate these films, or even if I should bother writing these films because I'm kind of kind of uneducated on this kind of like genre, this time period. I'll give it a 7, just because it was a bit lacking on narrative. But whatever. A 7 out of 10. Why not? Screw it. <laughs>